I regularly use autocorrect to help me build quicker formulas in Excel. I'll show you my favorites. Let's go. A typical scenario to help me illustrate these autocorrect tricks that I use would be having a table, let's say a dump of data from a general ledger or something like this. And I need to populate a nice column with a list of um, names for the accounts. I've got the codes. I want the names down here. So what I would do is set up a little mapping table. Now this table may already exist, in which case use that. But if you have to create one, one of my favorite little techniques is to grab a unique list from here. So let me show you. First of all, I'm going to turn this into a table using Control T. That highlights everything. My table has headers. I click OK. This is now a nice table. Right, I want to get a unique list of all these items. So I want to get a unique list and sort it. So if you have Office 365 and the new dynamic array formulas, which came out about a year or so ago, you can do a sort unique. But rather than typing all that out, I use the shortcut U U U space. It actually builds the formula for me. I then double click on this column A and I just highlight the column I want to get the unique values for. And I press enter. And there we go, a nice unique sorted list ready for me to then put my names against. So how did I do that? Let me show you this one and then I'll show you the other little shortcuts that I use. So all I've done is essentially create this piece of text, sort unique column A. I then copied that, including the equal sign, control C. And this is the trick. You go into file up the top left, then options down the side. Then you go to proofing. And this is where your autocorrect options are. I then go into the with box and paste control V. And in the replace, I put U, U, U for unique. You can put whatever you want, whatever you remember. Okay. And then add, I've already got it. So it's offering me to replace. Okay. So the techniques I show you for the rest of this video, that's the way I've done it. Gone into each of these and done that. So here's my unique list. Right. So I'm just going to copy that and right click paste values to turn it into a proper little list I might just move it down over here a little bit just so it's out the way okay so these are my codes and here's my descriptions so this is my lookup table in essence okay. and again control t my table has headers click ok and then i would type in the descriptions of all these things i've actually got a little list over here that i've already done Okay, just to save me typing it in and boring you with that detail. So there's what my codes are. Right, I need this table to be unique. And just before I do this, I'm just going to be really picky and rename my table. Yeah, so under table design, I go over to table and I'm just going to call it TBL, maybe GL, or let's call it account map. You may be using this for Power Query or Power BI or something like that. As a, as a unique mapping code, like a dimension table. So I need this always to be unique. So actually one thing I could highlight this and go home, conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, duplicate values, okay? So that's great. And if there ever are any duplicates, okay, so say you then come in here and you type in three, 2000, which I can see already exists, it does highlight them, that's great. But if this list is long, then you might not even notice that there's been duplicates, especially if this is getting updated from some other source or you're pasting new codes in. So I actually want to flag right at the top to show me my duplicates. Okay, so DDD is my duplicates check. Click on column A, click in here, press control spacebar. Click on it again, control A, click on here, control spacebar. And that's given me a one flagging the fact that there's duplicates. 
Let me show you, if I get rid of it, it's a zero. If I add a duplicate, it flags as one. And if I add more duplicates, it'll flag it. It'll flag differently. Okay, then I'm just gonna flag this with some conditional formatting. So conditional formatting, highlight cell rules. Hmm, I wanna say not equal to zero, or I could say greater than zero. Okay, so greater than zero. So there's my flag at the top that will just alert me if there's ever any duplicates. And I'm just gonna right click on this and delete that row. Okay, so that was the DDD trick, which puts this formula in column A, column A. Click on that, click on that. And that's your formula done for counting duplicates. Right, so that's my little lookup table and my little check all sorted. Now I can go back here and I want to add an account description based on a lookup. Now, index match was always my favorite before XLOOKUP came along. If you're not lucky enough to have a version with XLOOKUP yet, then let's show you the index match trick. So I, 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 space. I've now built my index match formula already. So I double click on the A, click on the account code, double click on column one and go and highlight column one, double click on column two and go and highlight column two. Easy, press enter and there we go. It's all sorted for you. That's the quick way to do an index match. Let's say a new code comes along. I don't know, 4-0001A. Okay, it's gonna show up as an NA. So then you might wrap it in an if error. So if that's gonna happen, let's do it differently. Rather than III, let's write II and then M for missing. It's now got a formula with an if error wrapped around it. So double click on the A, click on this one, double click on column one. That's where we're gonna find it. Double click on column two. Here's the description, press enter. And now we've got the word missing. And then up here, MMM, we can do a count if missing. So double click on here and highlight this. And now we've got a count and we can highlight that greater than one. I've even got a button to do this conditional formatting for me, format not zero. This little toolbar, I'll put a link to make it show you where this is available. You can download it for free. I built this for myself. So this is awesome. Now let's say we're doing an XLOOKUP instead. XLOOKUP is a lot nicer, a lot shorter than index match. So not as much need for the autocorrect, but I still use it. So here we go, XX space. What am I doing? I'm clicking this. Column one is over here. Column two is here. Press enter. Perfect. Oh, look, there's that NA. So let's do this differently. Okay, this time XXM for the missing. You know if error with XLOOKUP, the missing bit's already an optional argument. So again, I'm just going to look up this in this column, bring back this column. Okay, I'm just pressing control space bar there to get the whole columns. There we go, absolutely beautiful. So hope you find some of those tips useful. Here's the ma magic codes I use. I'll leave this up shortly. You can always pause this video. I'll also put um, the formulas in the link below and I'll put a link to this Excel file with these formulas in there. So I hope you find that useful. I use it all the time. If you want to keep up to date with more little tips like this, please subscribe. Leave me a comment. I love having comments from people. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's some useful ones I should add. And I'll catch you later.